There we go. And fuck the mist. Fuck the mist, yo. Thank you. Thanks to Vaughn and the people of Rimmel, the Genesis tree has been revived. The Genesis tree has the power to drive away the mist and to make a Rosselu like me stronger. The mist has left Rimmel, but it still covers the rest of the earth. Many Genesis trees wait to be revived. Vaughn, let us leave Rimmel together to look for those Genesis trees. We're on a journey for trees. Special trees. That time. <laughs> Brother? Don't worry, he's just a deep sleep. Look how peace <laughs> how peaceful he looks. He must be dreaming about something nice. Vaughn? He did. <laughs> and nap time. <laughs> Sorry? And our friend Juno? The hateful things of the Cerro took their lives from them. To Ferti, the god of the sea, we entrust their bodies. But Rem, our leader, our great leader, on your sacred wings take the noble souls of our friends to the valley of Naru. May their souls find peace and eternal happiness in the distant valley of Naru. Burial at sea, motherfucker. Who's got the arrows full of fire so we can give him a proper Viking funeral? I gotta say, for a for a PlayStation JRPG, this has a pretty somber opening. Yeah. It's not a happy story, okay? Yet. No happiness allowed. No happiness. I mean, at the very, at the very least, uh, well, like it, it's kind of hard to call Tales of Fantasia a PS1 RPG because it was just a Super Nintendo game, a Super Famicom game. Yeah. Let's see what's a better thing to compare it to. At least Dragon Warrior 7 pretends everything's alright before it completely goes to shit. <laughs> Most JRPGs uh, are like, everything's fine. Now everything's bad. <laughs> and now everything's bad. Well, at the beginning of Final Fantasy XII, you're homeless. <laughs> yeah, but you're a plucky orphan kid. <laughs> so it's not that bad. <laughs> Is Juno coming back? I don't think he will be coming back. This is depressing. Where the fuck did they come from? Seagulls! Mine! 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 Did you start pecking at those bodies we sent out? Mine! Mine! A Genesis tree and a Ross arrow. We have some pretty important things here in Rim Elm. Vaughn, Rim Elm is safe thanks to you. You are truly courageous, and I thank you again. However, it's about our precious May. Her mother may still be alive inside the mist. If you have pity on May, then rescue her mother. If you say yes, I'll tell you the rest of the story. Will you do it? Yeah. Thank you. But now even May doesn't know this, but May's mother Maya used to work at the Bateron Monastery. Ten years ago, the mist came, and we naturally lost all contact with her. As for whether Biron Monastery itself still survives in the mist, unfortunately no one knows. But Maya is May's only surviving blood relative. Vaughn, with the raw Cero, I'm sure you can make it to Biron Monastery. Vaughn, I'm counting on you. You shouldn't count on me, I suck at this. One more thing, Vaughn. Keep this a secret from May. She'll only be heartbroken if Baron Monastery has indeed been lost to the mist. Okay. Silly running animation. Go! <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go... Vaughn! Mm -hmm. Wait, Vaughn! Pew! Okay. 
I'm glad I made it. Here, I brought you the hunting clothes I promised you. And this is a gift for you. Thanks for rushing to check up on me yesterday. Hey, Vaughn, what's the matter? Mind your own business. Are you all right now? Yes, I had a good cry. And making your hunting clothes took everything off my mind. Vaughn, I heard from the village elder that you're going on a long trip. Well, take care, and don't forget to wear the hunting outfit I made you. Be sure to come back when you finish whatever it is you have to do. I mean it, you better come back. I've never been good at saying goodbyes, so I have to go home now. I'm sorry. I'll be waiting for you to come back, Vaughn. So do we ever get to uh, beat the shit out of that big venom-looking motherfucker that knocked down the wall? I think. Don't remember. All right. It's probably where we're going to cut recording for the day, so I can spend the next, like, day grinding. Grinding. The game. And when we come back to this, uh, when we record sometime next week, you'll see more of Legend of Lagaya. Okay, and we're back. Yeah, we're back in the world of Legia. Legia. To do, what the fuck were we doing again? I don't know, something about a mist? Something about a shrine? Okay, Ooh. I'm gonna say it right now. This what? puts Final Fantasy VII's overworld to shame. Why? Because it's vibrant? Yeah, look wise. at all this detail. Look at those trees. Look how fucking long it takes to get anywhere. Exactly. <laughs> Takes an eternity. An, An evil, evil fly. fly. Holy shit, level 34, damn. Yeah, I boosted a lot. Oh, yeah! Gotta charge your key. Night ah. boys me. What's that noise? Oh. Uh. Try to see if it'll let me. Uh, it should let me do this. It should be in my command list still. Yeah. Oh, Miracle arts. This is literally like his ultimate attack. Did you say Colonel do you die? Tornado forever. There we go. Vaughn won the battle. Vaughn of the Dawn won, won the battle. <laughs> I'm Vaughn. Vaughn of the Dawn. Who voiced Vaughn of the Dawn in the English dub of that show? I think it was David Vincent. Really? Don't quote me on that. It could be wrong. Vaughn of the Vincent. Gobble Gobble, why can't you just call it a goblin like everybody else? Why can't you be normal, Legend of Lagaya? You're dead. Yeah, I guess fucking dead. <laughs> All the enemies will just fucking die. Well, then we speed up the playthrough, that's for damn sure. That's why I uh, grinded so much. <laughs> Overgrinded, if you ask me, damn. And speeds up the game. 